These are pitcher plants. Pitcher plants are carnivorous plants that eat insects. They digest the body of the insect after it falls inside the pitcher. Down in the bottom of the pitcher there is a liquid that has digestive enzymes which help break down the body of the insect after it falls in. This hood protects the pitcher from filling up with rainwater. The underside of the hood has stiff hairs. I don't know if you can make them out with this camera, but there's stiff hairs which help to keep the insect from climbing out once it falls in, and also to direct it inside. The insect is attracted to the pitcher by the smell of nectar, which comes from around this pretty lip. The color also is thought to help attract insects. If you look inside, this pitcher has captured an unfortunate yellow jacket. He is drowning slowly in the digestive fluid that is at the bottom of the pitcher. The walls of the pitcher are coated in a waxy substance that, pre that um, prevents the escape of the yellow jacket. Wow, it actually looks like there's two in there. It actually appears to be a moth, a moth in the yellow jacket. No, I'm not going to help him because that would not be the way of nature. This is how things are. Now if I come back in a few days, here's what we will find. Looking into another picture. Just a black mass of corpses that have all been digested and the only thing remaining is the outer skin, the exoskeleton of the insect. Really an amazing plant, the pitcher plant. Let's take one more look. An awfully terrible way to go, I would say. Trying your mightiest. Oh, no, look at this. He's trying to get out, but it was because I had angled the plant. I need to put the plant back at the correct position so that he can't escape. This is where George Lucas apparently got the idea for the Sarlacc, the creature that lived in the desert in Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Wouldn't you think? Eventually he's going to run out of energy. And then he will succumb. Of course he may eat the moth. Pitcher plants only grow in very damp conditions, wetlands. And unfortunately, the United States and many areas of the world have drained and filled their wetlands in favor of development. And of course what happens is when you drain and fill a wetland, you kill all the moisture-loving plants. So this plant is almost extinct. If it wasn't for people growing them in, in uh, cultivation, they would never survive. The one we were looking at comes from uh, southern, the southern United States, and they can grow up, up to about three or four feet tall, uh, commonly referred to as white top pitchers. These are smaller, but capture insects just the same. It's a federally endangered pitcher plant known as the mountain sweet. And these small pitcher plants that are climbing against the ground are known as the purple pitcher plants. They operate pretty much the same way. You can see the pitcher there. And there's one with an ant. So they're very effective pitfall traps.